Hi guys, Josh from TT101. Today I want to talk to you guys about gun store etiquette number two, and that's going to be on dry firing a weapon at the gun counter. Now, I am by no means opposed to letting a customer dry fire a gun, and uh, the reason why that is is because the trigger is one of the most essential parts on a gun. If you hate the trigger pull, you're ultimately not going to like that gun so much. You're going to lose confidence in that firearm and in yourself when you shoot it, and that just kind of leads to a bad buying experience, and I don't like having customers get irritated with a firearm. I don't like them coming back and being like, hey, I bought this gun from you and I really hate it. You know, I don't like that at all. I want to give people exactly what they want and exactly what they were looking for because it makes me feel a lot better and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing my job properly. And I love my job. I love doing this. And if I have a lot of unhappy customers coming back and they stop coming back, then I'm going to lose my job because my uh, place of business is going to go out of business and I don't want that at all. So I do my damnness to try and help you guys out as much as I can. But that being said, there's definitely a way to go about asking to dry fire a weapon at the gun counter. And the key word is asking. If you just come in and just start blasting away at triggers, that's going to really irritate the guy or the lady uh, behind the gun counter that's showing you these weapons. And they're not going to really give you that buying experience that, that, that you deserve being a customer because they're going to get a little irritated. And I know that sounds really odd, but uh, and the customer is always right. But in that circumstance, you're not in a right in doing that because, for one, it could damage the firearm uh, depending on what platform it is. Now, most firearms nowadays are so well built, they're overbuilt to the point where dry firing a gun like hundreds of times isn't really going to hurt the gun. But there are certain platforms of firearms like revolvers and semi automatic 22 LR pistols or rifles that you do not want to do that with on a consistent basis. It can wear out springs or. Um, firing pins and hammers, all types of stuff uh, that you do not want to have wear out on a gun. And uh, especially at my store here, 99% of the time, all of the guns that we have at my store are out on the sales floor. So what I like to tell people is I'll let you dry fire the gun one or two times as that is going to be someone else's firearm in a very short period of time. And if we go ahead and just start banging away at the trigger, that's going to maybe wear out some parts prematurely before a person even gets to take the gun home. And I don't like that at all. So uh, like I said before, just ask before you do. I'm not going to have an issue with that, nor should any other gun store have an issue with doing that. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, the trigger is a huge part of a firearm and if you don't like that trigger pull you're not going to like that gun so uh, i do want to tell you guys a funny story though i actually had uh, a gentleman and his wife come in about three months ago and this was their first firearm they were ever going to be purchasing and i love selling people their first gun i absolutely love that it makes me feel pretty great and i, I love getting people into the shooting sports uh, industry uh, once I, they sell their, I sell their first gun to them, they kind of just get like latched on and hooked into it. And I really like that a lot. And when people come back and they're really elated, just like they're just like, oh my God, it's so much fun to shoot a gun. And uh, it really is. And it is a sport. And if you don't think it's a sport, you need to do some research. It's like throwing darts or bowling. There is there is a sport aspect about uh, shooting sports. And that's why it's called the shooting sports industry. Uh, not just the gun industry, there's uh, the shooting sports industry as well. And uh, back to my story though, this uh, very nice gentleman and his wife came in and uh, they were looking for their first firearm and I was like, sweet. So I was showing them about three, four different options. We got to the fifth option, we'll say, and it was a Ruger LCR-X. And if you're not familiar with that gun, that's uh, Ruger's polymer framed exposed hammer uh, uh, revolver, excuse me. And it's made uh, more or less for concealed carry. And uh, the guy had not dry fired any of the guns up until this moment right now. And what he does is he takes a gun from me. He's like, wow, this thing's awesome, blah, blah, blah. And he just looks off in the distance and starts screaming. And he's like, ah, da, 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 and like blasting the trigger. I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? And it made me laugh. It actually kind of made me laugh like right out loud right then and there. And I was like, sir, uh, and I said this very nicely to him. I was like, we don't, we don't do that here. And uh, given that he was new to the uh, new to guns and he'd probably never gone to any other gun store, he probably didn't know what was acceptable and not acceptable at the gun store uh, or the gun counter, that is. And uh, that's why I'm doing these videos is to give you guys an understanding of us being gun salesmen, where, uh, salesmen, where we're coming from 
and uh, on the opposite end of the uh, counter there, uh, if you know what I mean. So uh, I told him very politely, I was like, we don't do that here. If you wanted to dry fire the gun, I'll let you dry fire it a couple times. And then I gave him my whole spiel that that firearm is going to be someone else's gun or even yours someday. And it's really not uh, good to do that to the gun over and over and over and over. And uh, he, got a, he got the idea and he was very, very uh, nice about it, which I really liked because I don't like when customers kind of get uh, irritated when I, when I talk, talk to them and tell them like what they should and should not be doing. Uh, especially me being a younger guy if it's an older individual they really don't like me telling them what they should and should not do and uh, I'm doing it for their own best interests and the best interests of my future customers that might come and purchase that firearm so that's where I'm coming from when I do tell an individual on what to do especially when it re revolves around dry firing a weapon so I hope you guys found that story a little bit interesting it kind of made me laugh <laughs> All right, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed that uh, story I had for you. But uh, to end off this video, I want to show you guys my Springfield Armory Saint. I just did another modification to this gun, if you haven't watched my last video that I did. And that's going to be the Mission First Tactical Oversized Charging Handle Latch. And that's just the latch portion right here. What this does is it takes your mil-spec part, being your uh, charging handle, and it, it makes it into an oversized charging handle, which is pretty cool. And I did a whole video dedicated on how to do that, and it makes the gun much more functional for a lot less money than buying just a oversized charging handle for like 70 or 80 bucks this is only a $20 part so if you're definitely budget-minded this would be a great way to go about getting into an oversized charging handle but with just a little bit of work involved and uh, if you want to check that video out that'll be uh, in the top right corner right now if you want to hit that pop-up box that'll take you to that video if you wanted to see that and uh, it only took about six minutes to do so it's not a really long video by any means so I definitely suggest checking that out if if you were interested in doing something like this to your AR. And uh, that's going to wrap it up today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the like button. I would definitely uh, appreciate you doing that for me. And if you wanted to come and stop by and see me at the Big R in Homer Glen, Illinois, I'll have all the information in the description of this video on uh, how to get here, as well as my Amazon affiliate website link. If you click on that, that'll bring you to my website. All the sales that go through that helps keep bringing this cool content to you guys. So you guys take care and stay tuned for more interesting videos.